feel blessed. Way up, I feel blessed. Way. Alright, what's up YouTube, Rams Country, I'm Alex24, bringing you a new special video for the Rams free agency. Haven't talked to you guys since the Nick Foles trade went down, so it's been a while, maybe three or four couple of days. And in those couple of days, we've had some pretty good signings, specifically on the defensive side. And I want to get right into that. Um, our first guy out of UCLA, of course, Akeem Marys, a.k.a. Prince Akeem. Two-year deal, six million, three million guaranteed. And the first thing I like, besides just coming out of UCLA for this man, is just young. He's, he's young. He has a lot of potential. He got drafted by the Tennessee Titans, traded away to the New England Patriots. New England had a couple of injuries on the linebacker position and went on to win a Super Bowl with them. So you can pretty much say he has championship experience. Um, another thing, he's versatile. He's a good pass rusher. Like I said, versatile can be placed in the defensive end, obviously outside linebacker. And he makes he's a playmaker. We saw that a lot at UCLA. Makes key plays at the right time. He's always he's in, you can pretty much he's it he's in the sorry, I just got back from work. I'm a little tired, but I'm still have this excitement to me with these signings. But you can pretty much say he's at the right spot at the right time. Makes key plays at the right moment. So besides those things, being versatile, being a playmaker, being a pass rusher, being young, having potential, uh, I see future. That's one thing that comes to me is future. Um, we don't know how long Jolan Dunbar has. He's getting old, maybe not as fast as he used to be. <clears throat> And you have to be fast in this division with Colin Kaepernick and Russell Wilson running like maniacs. And I see Akeem Ayers. He has that, that athleticism. Well, that's another thing that he has to him. And then maybe he can be that outside linebacker for the future. Maybe he can fill in, um, be alongside with James and Alec Ogletree. Excuse me. So I just think of one thing from Akeem. I, maybe I see future. That's one thing I see. So I really like this signing. I really like the, I really like this signing a lot. <sighs> Nick Fairley. That's the next signing. Um, one year deal, five million dollars guaranteed. Um, five million dollars um, can go up to seven point five eight million. Um, in the extensive, I don't know a lot about that. So if you guys know about that, and um, comment below. Let me know what that is. I'm pretty sure it's reaching your potential. Maybe stat line. If he reaches some stats and produces as much as he can, he maybe gets that eight million, seven point five million. But if you, like I said, if you guys know what that is, um, let me know. Let me know below. Um, I didn't really look into that. But the deal just meant reaching your potential. So, as you can see, I don't have this excitement when I see Nick Fairley because I don't know if we really had to address this, um, this position, the defensive tackle. But it puts depth in our rotation. Um, but I, I see more concerns than, than wins. His, his, one thing that he had in Detroit was his weight concerns. He had that a lot in Detroit. Um, his injuries, he went out last year with a knee injury. With, um, after eight games, he had 14 tackles in the sack. But, yeah, excuse me, he had a knee injury, had a rehab. Excuse me again. And off the field issues. He got some of that from Ndamukong King Sue. And he brings a lot of attitude. And he got overlooked that attitude because of Ndamukong King Sue always stepping on people. But he has an attitude to him. We know he's an interior force. He's, we've seen this dude huge. Interior force. He can pass rush. He can <laughs> obviously stop the run. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus. Um, but just, I like this signing. Don't get me wrong. But is are we really signing name brand or are we signing the player? Um, just I don't know if we had to really spend that money on Nick Fairley. Um, maybe we could have addressed we we could have spent that money on the offensive lineman. But hey, but look this 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 signing just makes our defense look scary and scary with capital letters. Just imagine this, guys. Look, you got Chris Long. You got now. You got Aaron Donald. You have Michael Brockers. You have Robert Quinn behind them. Our second string, our second string defensive line can start in this league. You have Eugene. You have William Hayes. You have Ethan. Now you have Nick Fairley. Behind them, you have Akeem Ayers, newly added. You have Jolon. You have James. You have now. You have Alec Ogletree. Sorry. And you even in our secondary, you have TJ, you have Mark, you have True, you have Janoris, and you have Egan, and you even have Marcus Robertson. This defense is scary, and it's young. I'm hope hopefully this defense can stay together for a long time. But it's not even being ridiculous no more. That's the word I used to use with this defense. It's not even being crazy no more. It's just scary. Even the even the NFL tweeted out. Um, Welcome Sac City with Nick Fairley in the middle, and then um, obviously our defensive line. And it's scary. Um, but, wow, our defense is just, <laughs> look at that, I'm going to say scary again. 
So those are two defensive um, added players, Akeem Ayers, Nick Fairley. I like those like those signings, the, the Nick Fairley one just a little bit. Um, I don't know if we had to address that very much, but I like it. Next off is move from defense to offense. Kenny Britt, two-year, $14 million deal, 4.3 guaranteed. And the big thing is $7 million a year. Oh, take $7 million off the cap space. Now, the, the one thing I went right after this, I went on Twitter and I said, um, I don't know, maybe we may, we may have overpaid Kenny Britt, but I'd rather have seen him get um, paid, get him signed, than let's sign this, um, let's sign someone off the free agency or draft somebody, and they have no chemistry, they don't know, they don't have the connections that Kenny Britt had with these players. And one thing that that money addresses to, and I really want to say, is his mentor. He's being a mentor. He mentored Kenny. Um, he mentored Brian Quick. Um. Maybe I, I'd like to say that so half of that money can go to being just a mentor. Um, took Brian Quick under his wing, and look, at he produced. Um, sad to say he went out, but hopefully he can come back from that rehab. But besides that, I like the Akeem Air signing. I like the Nick Fairley signing. I like the Kenny Britt signing. Just, I think we may have gone over our heads with the Nick Fairley. Maybe we, I think we should have addressed offensive line. I, that's my opinion. Look at this. Nick Foles should have no reason to produce. You have Kenny Britt. You have Brian Quick. Those are those are two huge receivers over six three. You go up and get the ball. It's it's this is scary too. Um, but you have Kenny Britt. You have Brian Quick. You even have Taylor on the slot. You have Stedman trying to emerge. You have the weapons. And I've heard that Nick Foles and Brian Quick are already having connections, and this is a good thing. So let's start. We got we got to start clicking. Um, so without with that being said, um, offense and defense, I want to get into this cap space since we're in the free agency. So after the last Craig Jake signing, we had 20.9. I'm breaking this down. Um, after the Keem Air signing, we had 19.9. After the Nick Fairley, we had 14.8. After the Kenny Britt, we had 17. We have 7.8. We have 7 to 8 million in the cap space right now, which concerns me a lot since we have to address offensive line. Um, we don't even have any visits these next couple of days. I know we know. Justin Blalock left them Detroit without a contract, so he he's passed to visit them um, St. Louis. Stephen Wisniewski, I think I believe, is still in Seattle. I don't, I really don't think he leaves Seattle. Um, we still have, you still have Dan Conley on the free agent market, guard slash center, another versatile player out of the out of New England. You even have um, Chris Myers at center. You have Will Montgomery at center. Um, it starts making me believe that we we uh, we will have to address this in the in the draft, and that's a video for another time. Um, even, oh, it's just, that's the only thing that concerns me, just having this little bit of money, you have 30 million, and now you have these three players, and now you go down to seven, well, that's how the league works, pretty much, it's, you gotta pay to be good, <clears throat> so, those are the three signings the last couple of days, I wanted to let you guys know about, about, about our cast base, if you have any, um, comment below, let me know what you guys think about Akeem Marys and Nick Fairley, Kenny Britt. If you don't if you don't agree with me, let me know. I don't I don't care if you don't agree with me. Um I like knowing your opinions. I've had that I've had conversations on Twitter where people don't agree with me and I'd like to know what they think. I'm I i do not get mad. I don't get mad with you guys uh, about your opinions and I wouldn't want you to get mad about my opinions. But let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about these signings? What do you guys think we should do in the in the draft? What do we do we now address them in the draft or what do we do with this seven to eight million now? It's, uh, now it's getting interesting with this money. What are we, What is Les and Jeff going to do, pretty much? So, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, follow me on Twitter and talk, just give me a conversation. I'm always I'm always going to talk back to you. Either it's YouTube, either it's Instagram, if you want to follow me on Instagram, or if it's Twitter, at Alexander24. So, give me a follow and, get, and let's talk. I'm, I'm always on Twitter. Shit, I've been on Twitter these last five days. And I'm sorry, I think I'm addicted. So... Um, that's my time for today. I just wanted to give you guys this news update for the free agency. So, hope you, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. My weekend has just begun. Hopefully yours has begun as well. Um, let's get ready for these next couple of days. It should be interesting as well. Maybe some more signings. So, have a good weekend again. Um, Rams up, guys. Stay up.